Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue our I-85 series in North Carolina, heading north in Davidson County in the city of Lexington. We begin at mile 88. Lexington has an estimated population of 19,105 as of 2016. Lexington calls itself the barbecue capital of the world. Pigs in the City is a public art initiative coordinated by Uptown Lexington Incorporated, a nonprofit organization created to revitalize the Uptown area of Lexington. People pay commissions to artists to decorate life-size sculptures of pigs, which were installed throughout the city. The event includes an annual celebration held in the fall in the Uptown Business District. Pigs in the City began in 2003 and the event drew more than 40,000 visitors from all over the state in its first year. Since 2006, it has been established as an annual event. This section of I-85 is named for Bob Timberlake, a realist artist primarily known for his watercolor paintings as well as for designing and licensing lines of home furnishings, clothing, and various other products. Timberlake is a resident of Lexington, North Carolina. Here at US 64, the name of the highway changes to the Richard Childress Freeway. Childress is a former NASCAR driver and the current team owner of Richard Childress Racing. As a business entrepreneur, Childress became one of the wealthiest men in North Carolina. In mile 97, we see an anomaly in the United States interstate system. Here, as if we've been transported to some faraway land, such as, I don't know, Albury, New South Wales, Australia, the northbound lanes cross under the southbound lanes, and for several miles, we'll be traveling to the left of the opposing traffic. The north and southbound lanes are widely separated, and it's not obvious to travelers that the lanes have switched places due to the trees in the median. There's a pair of rest areas in the median that are connected by a footpath, and on the southbound side is the North Carolina Vietnam Veterans Memorial Park. The only reason we could find that the lanes switch places is that the reversal of the lanes allows the rest areas to be accessed by standard right-hand side exits.
At mile 100, the northbound lanes of I-85 cross over the southbound lanes. The chaos has ended and everything is back to normal. Here we enter the city of Thomasville, which has a population of 27,030 as of 2016. The city is notable for its furniture industry, as are its neighbors High Point and Lexington. Thomasville is home to the oldest railroad depot in the state, just a few hundred feet from the city's most notable landmark, the Big Chair, a 30-foot landmark replica of a Duncan Fife armchair that rests in the middle of the city. We enter Randolph County in the city of Trinity. The community was named after Trinity College, which later became Duke University. Sealy Corporation, the world's largest manufacturer of betting products, is headquartered in Trinity. Trinity is home to NASCAR Sprint Cup Series drivers Bobby Labonte, Brian Vickers, and Kyle Petty. The world's largest Hot Wheels track was built at the Kyle Petty Farm in Trinity on May 9, 1999. We reach the city of Archdale, which has a population of 11,631. Archdale, previously known as Bush Hill, began as a predominantly Quaker settlement and received the name Archdale as a tribute to John Archdale, a lord proprietor and an early Quaker governor. It was incorporated in July of 1969 under the leadership of then Mayor Henry York Sr. We conclude today's video at exit 111. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at shop.spreadshirt.com slash 504 roadtrips. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share, and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.